Just how you coming, bro? What's up, my G? What's up, man? Just how you coming, bro? Baby? Hey, we late as hell. Yes, sir. This right here, this is the, the mate box. That yeah, we call it the mate box. going crazy. I see y'all pit bull over here, too. That motherfucker. Hey, it's a chain on that motherfucker? <laughs> Live on Zach TV, man. One of the funniest brothers out of Chicago right now, man. My Timothy dude. Wilson, aka Prince T Dub. What's, What's up, happening, bro? baby? You deserve that type of that that type of intro, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate man, what's it. up with them toys outside, bro? Oh man, you know, man, that's what we do, man. We, I got the car club, man. Me and my homie, uh, Paulino Capone, got a stunner mic, man. We got the exclusive car club, so you know, we got the toys, man. You know, y'all y'all fucking a game up. Oh man, that's that, that's light work right there, man. You yeah. know, baby, I had the Maserati, man. It got tore up. I had the Maserati that changed yeah. three different colors. I don't Three phone them. <laughs> hey, I see your famous cup on the side of you, man. Oh, man yeah. What's that you sipping on? Some Henny? This is a Doucet right oh, here. Oh, Doucet, Doucet. But you know I love Remy, man, but this is Doucet today. Oh, yeah, you're going crazy, mm -hmm. man. So, yes, when did you realize you wanted to take this comedian shit serious, bro? Man, you know what, man? Back in 2011, man, uh, maybe a little bit before 2011, uh, my man Dante Fane, he came at me one day, because I always been fly, man, you know what I'm saying? So, I was, because uh, I'm from the low end of Chicago. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shout I'm, out to the low end. Shout out to the low end, you know, all my people on the low end. And I was on 35th, because, you know, I graduated early. I graduated school at 16 years. On some smart shit. You know, not on smart shit. I went to military school. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I was able to get out early. So, you weren't able to be like the class clown. They was on your ass if you were yeah, trying to tweet. Yeah, they was on my ass there, you know what I'm saying? But... I went there, a spot called Lincoln Challenge in Rantoul, Two, Illinois. I had to live there. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So I was there doing my thing. I graduated early. So I used to just go up to high schools, you know what I'm saying, that was in the neighborhood and just mess with the girls, just chilling. And uh, I, I, one day I was up there and uh, Dante Fane seen me. And he was like, man, you got a, a look on you. You know what I'm saying? You got a good look. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what you do? You sing, rap? What you do? I'm like, no, nah, I don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? So he like, man, I'm gonna find you somewhere and I'm gonna put you somewhere. So, man, maybe a year go past, we talking off and on. And he hit me up uh, and said he was coming out with a show called The Reawakening. He like, he wanted me to come down and audition for it. So me and my homeboy went down there. We driving, we get like three blocks away. I call it a flat tire. Damn. Get out, change the flat. We make it there. It's packed in there too. Get to the audition. They bring me down there. They had me do a role where I'm playing a drug dealer. So as I'm going over the lines, I read the lines, I'm trying to sound as gangster as I could. <laughs> but they laughing at the shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm repeating it and he like, man, no, nah, that, that, that role ain't for you, but I got you. And, and that's when he put me on the show and I was the comedian of the show. And from there, I'm like, okay, I, I'm, I'm rocking with the comedy. So. What the fuck is this? Walking out of the door, yo, 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 yo,
need that G check from time to time. They need look, that. You to know keep what I'm their head. Because that was going on when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? And they, like we had to build a state way in and out of be wells. You know what I'm saying? Like we had the real hood, the project. All these hoods they call the hood. That ain't the really the hood. So you from the project? I'm from down there. You know what I'm saying? Where. You know what I'm saying? The big homies, they'll see, you ain't got to do nothing for them. They'll just see you going to the store where you going. Hey, he go $10. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when they see you fucking up, I'm going to fuck you up. And you know what I'm saying? We ate that because y'all look out for us. You know what I'm saying? If somebody finna shoot, they'll tell everybody. They used to tell my mom and everybody, hey, go in the crib. They finna start shooting around here. Niggas don't do that no more. Hell Niggas no. just stop blowing. They don't care who on the porch. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is you doing out here? So... Man, that's the only thing. That's that's the only thing really missing them OGs to come holler. Like a lot of people scared to talk to the shorty. Man, they'll listen to you. You know what I'm saying? Come holler at them, Kanye. Pull up, holler at these niggas, man. Chance, pull up, holler at them. You can't talk to them over no internet, man. Come on, pull so up. You think if 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 these uh big name artists and celebrities step down? Come to these hoods, talk to these kids. They can guide them back into into. Uh, Man, I say even do it to do a do a concert for them for free. Do a concert and talk to them there. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't I ain't suggesting that you go through the hood and you know what I'm saying and shake hands and kiss babies. No, you ain't gonna be able to do that. But you you selling out the uh, soldier field and shit, ain't you? You know what I'm saying? Y'all come down and selling out the United Center. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Y'all making money. Let's bring all them niggas who shoot now. Let's bring them in. Let's, let's, let's do a concert. And after that concert, holler at them. You know what I'm saying? Tell them your vision. Tell them what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Tell them what they should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Because all they know is shit. Fast money. So, would you say, with, with what you're saying, you feel like it's still hope for the city? Cause I you know it's hope for the city. I know it's hope. You know what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, you know what I'm saying? Like, all they, this is all they know right now. You ain't giving them no other option. You know what I'm saying? If I ain't get it, I'm, if I ain't got it, I'ma go take it. That's what they know. You know what I'm saying? So they they don't know nothing else. So if somebody sit down and tell them, man, look, we finna open up some jobs over here. Go sign up over here. We finna do this like this. You know what I'm saying? Some everybody wanna be rappers now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna nobody wanna work no more. You know what I'm saying? Right. They ain't seen Chief Keith blow up like that. I be wanna tell you niggas, man, stop that shit. Everybody ain't gonna be the Chief Keith. Everybody ain't gonna be able to do what he did. You know what I'm saying? He ain't he was able to do it because. Back then, it wasn't no lane for that. Right. He didn't, he didn't fill that position now. You know, for the drill rappers, over with now for that. He dare. Stop trying to be a gangster rapper, man. Stop talking. You really tricking on your fucking self. I just did the song, man, how rappers snitch on they self in they music. I see that. These niggas will sit up here and tell on they, yeah, man, that nigga, we, we shot the nigga, man. We, 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 man, come on, man. What you doing? Go sit down, man. Go to bed. So that that's 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 a, a artist ch chasing clout really. Yeah. Like you want to get clout off something you're doing in the streets. Like that's the that's the. But that's no -no. that what they show you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's you know what I'm saying. Everybody who got deals, that's all they talk about. They talk about drug dealing. Rick Ross. Look at Rick Ross. This nigga was a parole officer or something before he started rapping. <laughs> but this nigga talk about this song. I sold kilos and all. How you do this? When did you have time to do this and be? A, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like. This all this all the media is pushing out here to you is like this the way to go. You know what I'm saying? So that's why female like you you call a bitch a bitch. You call a female a bitch. Not a bitch a bitch. You call a female a bitch. And she get all upset. You know what I'm saying? I don't call me no bitch, but a song come on one time for the birthday bitch. Ah oh, bitch! Like, you know what I'm saying? You train to let these motherfuckers say the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like now, if you gonna respect yourself, respect yourself all the way around. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't be understand certain shit, but the era we live in, man. Now, do you think would you would you would you point any blame toward the parents on raising their kids, or is it just strictly the streets? Nah, cause I know some parents who's on their kids' ass. You know what I'm saying? I got family members who mm -hmm. who, who 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 got got kids that they wouldn't even let come outside, but they the biggest hoes in the city. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. You can't do, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no way around it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got family that love to death, but shit. You know, like, and protecting them like that and keeping them so isolated, it makes them want to do more when they finally get out. You know what I'm saying? It makes them want to do it. So, I mean, as a parent, you can only do so much. So, um, I actually, I'm, I'm going to bring Chan's name back up because I said it earlier. I don't want to forget about what he did for the uh, for the for the Chicago Public Schools. He set the bar high, so I feel like, honestly, even though that was like what a year ago, two years ago, 
I feel like that's one of the reasons like Kanye coming back or different people like really fucking with the city. He, he if him doing that really made you know what I'm saying other people look at it like I can be doing it. I can be saving these kids. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely rock with Chance. I did some work with Chance. Me and him did a skit together. But to the Kanye thing and to like I feel like and I mess with Kanye. But I feel like why wait to some stuff going wrong in your life to come back? You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like even like the R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Like I mess with R. Kelly too. I be down there kicking with him. Like shout out to R. Kelly. I ain't saying that wrong, but like, like like he did the song that I admitted. And in the song he was like, man, you know, he can be an inspiration to the youth. This is an invitation for him to talk to you. Like why now? Why you want to put that out there now? You know what I'm saying? That you going through what you going through. Right. Hey. <laughs> I mess with Kells, man, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, it's like, why wait now? Like, man, you could have been did this, you know what I'm hey, saying? Man. Like, let's do it while you hot, man, you know what I'm saying? Nobody want to hear that shit out, Kanye, nobody want to hear that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, But, you know, it, but people say when you're in your worst time, it's always best to take it back home and... And basically get a get a get a rain check, man. And we supposed to just you back. No, nah, like we ain't not. To open you back. Come on, come on back I, in. I feel like anyway we gonna. Well, I don't know. I can't speak for everybody, but me personally, man, I respect Kanye if he did come out here and, and build these youth centers. He got the money to do it. He like, definitely got. But man, he been do that money. shit, bro. He been you know what I'm saying? Money. Like you know that, that should be wild. Like person. it's a lot of it's a lot of people in position that 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 ain't reaching back, and I don't understand that. But being from the low end, so you never really had. Like near death experience, or you have? I'd have been shot at. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been. Damn. You, know? you a comedian getting shot at? I wasn't doing comedy then. You know what I'm saying? I was in the street. Like, I, I mean, but we were just doing dumb shit. Like, me and my cousin, we do. I, I, the, the time I got shot at, it was my fault. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm walking to the corner store, me and my cousin. We walk into the corner store. We talk, we young as shit. We walk, I got some fresh ass ACG boots on. You know, ACG was the shit back then. I'm walking to the store, and my dumb ass decide I'm gonna jump on a car and jump car to car, like so. I'm jumping the cars in the line. I'm jumping off one car, boom, boom, on to the other. Was there people car. in these cars? Huh? No, there were no people oh, in the okay. cars. So these parked cars. Okay. It was just one car. I'm talking about that motherfucker. <laughs> so I think it was an Infinity truck. I'm talking about nice, nice. <laughs> my my ACG boots hit the top of that motherfucker. The lung oh, went up, no. and all I heard was a screen door flow. <laughs> Next time I hear gunshots, do, do, do. I'm tired. I'm talking about, but I'm so dumb and think the shit so motherfucking, so, such a game that I'm running. I'm like, damn, I dropped my phone. I turn around. My cousin's like, man, you got your dumb ass. Damn. You know, phones back then, man, you ain't just got no insurance on the next door what you lose that ball. My mom, when them flip motherfuckers was the day, oh, boy. The uh, Motorola, shit, that was the Motorola. The chirp joints. Nah, I had the Motorola flip um, T-Mobile joint with the motherfucker. Man, you, had, you had to go back and get that motherfucker. Actually, the motherfucker was in my inside coat pocket. I was going to turn around and die for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, was that the first and only time that something like that happened to you? No, nah, shit, we got shot at again, too, shit. We got, well, now, actually, we was helping the nigga. We was actually helping the nigga. What happened was, we up there visiting my cousin girl uh, on 37 in Indiana. We up there visiting her. She stayed on the third floor. We heard a motherfucker banging, because you got to get buzzed in. So we heard a nigga banging on the door. So we went down there to see, you know what I'm saying, what was up. And we went down there, uh, he was just on the, on the porch, like, man, open the door, open the door. We think he just want to get in. But there's some niggas chasing him. So he opened the door and he was coming in and the niggas was behind him. So they get the blast with this nigga in the hallway. Damn. And shit, we like right there. So all this shit going on, shit, we run back upstairs to the third floor and luckily shit, she ain't go too far. She heard the shit open the door, we ran up in there. But, Damn, that's a close call yeah, for real. Yeah, that was real. definitely a close call because shit, they were whacked all us now. I don't know if he got whacked because we ran through her house, ran out the back door. <laughs> yeah, I, I left his ass. Shit. Yeah, you if did. He did rest in peace you, to you, him. You, it's safe to say you 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 got a deal. You got you got a con, you under contract right now. Yeah, I'm definitely under contract with my uh uh with my manager in motion uh TNT Entertainment. Uh, so we under contract. And, so, so, yeah. Shout out to TNT Entertainment, man. Yeah. Um, now. Did now I got a question. You got personal security, right? Yeah, yeah. Did uh, that come Big with Wayne. the contract? His name what? Big Wayne. Big, Big Wayne. Yeah, now Big Wayne was there when I first started out. Big Wayne, that's that's like we didn't grow. We family now. You know what I'm saying? So he been doing security for me since the real awakening started. Damn. So, like, do we follow you around like cheetahs, or is it like to just to certain events and shit? 
Now, my man with me, like, man, like, somebody told me I was in my drop top Mustang. I had a drop top Mustang on 32. It was purple. I'm talking about, y'all probably see it in the city. One of the loudest cars in the city. But I was driving one day and somebody recorded the car and they were like, man, I caught you lacking. You know what I'm saying? They sent it to me, like, oh, I see you lacking in the streets. You're on the e way. And in the video, they didn't know that Big Wayne was right behind me in his car. I'm like, nah, I wasn't lacking. You see that motherfucker trailblazer behind me? That's Big Wayne, motherfucker. So Big Wayne everywhere. Hey, that nigga probably here now. Hey, watch out for Big Wayne. Hang yeah, on, play with y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> Period. I seen them, man. That's a big guy, oh, man. Big Wayne, yeah, that's my nigga. Hey, so it's a lot of like funny motherfuckers on social media that end up, you know what I'm saying, on, on wilding out and shit. Would you ever try for wilding out? Yeah, I talked to a few uh, a few people from a while now, man. Like, we working on something, so that may be happening very, very soon. Like, we've been politicking. I done did work with them, you know what I'm saying? I done been to two Wild and Out events, so, you know what I'm saying? So that's that damn man a process. In the bag, you know what yeah, that's... If I don't start my own, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Wild and Out, but, you know what I'm saying? I, I won't think outside the picture. That, that can be here, you know what I'm saying? We can do Period. that. Period. On some ball shit. Cause we got a lot of comedians in the city right now that's like who making moves. Boston, you know? right? You feel me? Like yeah, going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we can start that here. So that's what I'm really thinking about doing that here. So, like, would you say like Nick Cannon built like the perfect platform for comedians when he created Wild and Out? Yeah, that was the that was the perfect. I mean, well, Def Jam, of course. That was okay. The that was all time. You know what I'm saying? But Wild and Out is definitely the the modern day. Uh, Death Jam. So, do you eventually want to be in like in, in in theaters and movies and shit? Yeah, I got a movie. I just went to uh, the Dominican Republic. I filmed a movie out, out the country. Damn. My first movie was out the country. Damn. I went out the country and filmed the movie. You going crazy? Bro. Oh yeah, definitely. That's gonna come out soon. I'm actually um a couple of people from the movie is like stars out there already. You know what I'm saying? So you know our stars and they stars are two different stars. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, he already, he probably the Drake of they, they country out there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. me and him just being attached to each other is definitely big. You know what I'm saying? Where I can go out there and do shows and make moves out there. I, I, I wouldn't say you look up to Bill Cosby, bro. Because you ain't mentioned Free mention Bill, Bill, man. Yeah, yeah, free that man. But with that being said, what you think about that conviction, bro? I feel like it's bogus. G. I just did a video and they blocked me from Facebook for doing that video. You know what I'm saying? Like, every Damn. time I speak on something I get too real, Facebook want to block me, man. You know what I'm saying? They just been on board with me. They, they really were trying to get me to make a fan page, but that's another story. But I just feel like they bogus because it don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, when something don't make sense to me, I got to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, how... These all these, I know one female, you touch one female the wrong way and she can tell one motherfucker and that just spread like wildfire, you know right. what I'm saying? And nobody want to come around this nigga again. So how are all these women singing the same song and people still coming around him? That don't make sense to me. And even in one interview with a lady who uh, looked like the man, she sat up there and said he put out these pills and I asked him what was it. He said it's something to relax you. I take the pills, and the lady was like, well, why you take the pills? That was the interview asked him, why you take the pills? Well, because I trusted him. You, you say he drugged you. How is he drugging you when you took these pills? If you give me some fucking pills right now, I don't give a fuck if you say it's Tylenol. If it didn't come out of Tylenol bottle that ain't never been opened, I'm not taking them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Like, Period. I mean, what's going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't understand So, it, they man. wanted that shit. That's basically they what you're saying. They wanted it, man. Like, these bitches, like, they come out with all type of stuff as you as you moving up in life, man, and you doing your thing, man. Like, females, like, everybody looking for an opportunity, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta know people motive, man, because you sit up there, and it's like, soon as the man sit up there and try to buy ABC, you know what I'm saying? This happened. You know what I'm saying? NBC, facts. ABC. Was I just thought of a fact. That's crazy. And they bring yeah, all this shit up. Yeah, it's like every Feel time me? a nigga try to make a big move in life, just think about it. Well, that's Why what I say. Like when when, when, a, when a white person do something to a black person, it's like the courts want to hear both sides of the story. But if a nigga do some shit, man, they want to take they want to take you under the jail. Oh, man, man. Hey, don't do no yeah, shit. Hey, like I don't, that. I don't think Bill Cosby did that shit, bro. Free Bill, Bill, man. Man, free that nigga, man. man free folks, man. So, uh, T Dub, man, you got any advice for the any up and coming comedians, man, in Chicago or anywhere? In Zach TV One Land? Man, I would just say, man. To anybody, don't give up, man. You know what I'm saying? If you believe in it, this for you is gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta be extra with it. You ain't gotta do 
you know what I'm saying? Like, what's for you is gonna happen regardless. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, a lot of people be, you know, they want me to do certain stuff, and I'm like, no, nah, man, I ain't gonna do that like that. This the way I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my vision. I'm gonna do it this way. You know what I'm saying? So, I just say, man, whatever you is, whatever you doing out here, if you believe in it, go for it. Thanks. Now, you you got you just did a movie. Um, you've been chopping it up a while and out. But what's next? What you got next, man? Um, any projects you working on? Well, I'm working on a, a tour, a comedy tour. So yeah. we got a, we got a. Uh, actually, this is gonna be like one of the biggest tours because right now they're trying to get all the um, social media comedy comics. You know what I'm saying? Like the pretty much like the the social media kings of comedy to kind of come together. And, and and do a tour, so this should be big. You know what I'm saying? So it it it, it ain't you can't drop no names yet until it's yeah, all until locked it's in. Yeah, until it's all done. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. definitely they they called me uh, about two days ago about it. I'm gonna, like anybody want to do business with you, bro? Like how can they get in contact with you? Oh, uh, TNT Entertainment man, uh, bookings with an S. So it's bookings at tntent dot com or eight three three eight six eight three six eight two. And that's that's a that's a number to your manager, correct? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was your personal number. Oh, oh man, man, you gotta be exclusive to get that number. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the numbers right there. When you call, matter of fact, my call in front of you. This, this right here, this is so much fun. I, I love it so much because it's so professional. Hey, I, I, I hey, what, what's them, your right? what's your social media like? Your Instagrams and Facebooks and shit. Like name name all your shit. Oh, press T Dub uh, on. Um, Home of comedian Timothy Wilson. You heard that? Yeah, she white. That's white. Oh, you wrong. That's you wrong, white. Brother. That's white. Oh, oh, man. white oh, that's that's my baby. Yeah. Yeah. I got a white lady on my damn thing, man. Come yeah. on, man. Right from the end, though. You get to press one and press two for all these options. Hey, man. but since you got a white manager, man, you don't be no, on a celebrity shit. They, they, oh, it's, they, it's, uh, it's a team. They Cuban. Okay, all right, so you is, bro, I ain't trying to get none. 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 Yeah, yeah. Hey, so you show love, though. You ain't on none of that celebrity shit with these people, right? You gonna show love. Oh, definitely. I show love all the time. You trying to get me drunk. Yeah, this nigga study pass him on looking. So, for is there any last words you got for those Zach TV on one fans, bro? Oh, man, that's about it for me, man. You know what I'm saying? It's good, you know. Uh, right. Shout out to Zach, of course, man. Oh, my man, man. Rest in peace to him. But uh, definitely, y'all keep supporting it. Keep supporting the movement, man. Long live King Zach, man. Love Long is love, live. man.